Who the hell are you? Go away. Get away. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, my people? Hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in alright. One beautiful heart is better than a thousand beautiful face. So choose people having beautiful heart rather than face. People better tell you something. The little girl come and make you know say, her mother can't go right up on the goose woman because something they wrong with her. What well, going up for Oberlin? He not done yet. Me I tell her the truth. But watch her down the people. Can you believe it, say? We can manage our bang right there, so. And we are going to take up other people's business for our head. Yeah, this is foolish, this is now. This is the biggest stupidness in the year. From my man. Yes, people. Minister responsible for information, Robert Morgan, said the government has been engaged in talks with regional and international partners about sending troops to assist with enforcement in Haiti. Well, on. Only care for money, Jamaica, and how I send people to Haiti. Send the prisoner them. You understand? You can't send them. Just give them some machine and tell them to go over the gang, them bang. Jamaica functions through a collective called CARICOM, which is the route through which we exercise international action in particular things. We also follow the, the precepts of the United Nations, and it is through those avenues that Jamaica acts in, in relation to international matters of this nature. We know that discussions are taking place. Prime Minister and the Minister of Foreign Affairs have had several discussions at the CARICOM level. We also know that the UN is supposed to consider the matter and make decisions. And I suspect that before I can make a definitive statement, um, the Minister of Foreign Affairs will, will have to pronounce on the matter. But there are several things happening at the same time that I think she's awaiting on the international level before she speaks on it. If I went on this side to send people, Kanju and Cloud didn't fairly the line. So what I said, I mean what I said, and me not take him up. Who are not bit now, people, because Yesterday, I see the police, them go so boom and said, Who at Holy Pajit going out and send them a separation? So, people, who don't know, know me, I'm going to tell them now. I'm going to tell the police and the soldier them this. Make sure you care about bigger crimes in a one chapalin. So, what I said, I mean what I said, I'm not to give up. And if you don't want to know how to find him, me can give you a tip. Here, what you need to do, just go into the community and take away your family. Yeah, man. Take away your family member, them, because they know which part of them, they hide him. Take away halls of them and see how quick people start squeal. Round that like a whole them there. Go out there go smoke him out. Yeah man, me I tell you no. No, let me tell the people them why they send operation gone out there. Let me tell the people them what wins in the man. The police has launched a probe into a robbery of approximately 500,000 worth of recinco goods from a delivery truck in 12 miles Bull Bay, St. Thomas. The incident occurred 4 30 Wednesday morning. Right and early in the morning. It's reported that Deliveran was driving his truck with goods when on reaching the vicinity of Three Finger Jack, a white Toyota Pro Box drove up beside him and the occupants opened gunfire, hitting him in the upper hand. The delivery man sped off, however, the truck hit the median and came to a stop. Two men reportedly exited the Pro Box, one of whom pointed the gun at delivery man who ran in bushes. Run go see if you like coming by the goods in sure, you understand? Not your life. The robbers drove away with the truck containing the goods. A motorist later assisted the delivery man to the Gallas police station where a report was made. The injured man was later assisted to hospital where he was admitted. That is why Wednesday in a day, see them come and go sub, boom, wanted Wednesday campaign and them a look for bigger crimes. But if that never happened, you know, to Wisinko. Because every day them come and go off a deal and rob people and then go go report it and nothing happened. But just because and the Wisinko truck then take away and they walk about the truck, you see how quick they might talk about them about a large operation. Watch your gun power go on. Go fast them and find the truck people without the goods. You understand? Anyway, I need to show me a candy. I want the biggest get to a foreign. Yes, people, one of the biggest get to a foreign in dead. You understand? The mountain Jamaica dead round for them little place nicely. 
Now, if we put rice cream together and you can't even count to what Jamaican did right around on that side. But let me tell you which part they come from and which part of the people they're moan. The people they're in Portland are moan. Yes, they're moan for Herman Hilton, aka Max. Yeah, man. Max dead in our gun attack at the big, big ghetto in our stand named Dorchester. Ask anybody who know anybody who know somebody about a ghetto there. Big, big, big ghetto, ghetto, ghetto. You heard that? Me, I tell you the truth, people. What? See the news reporter. Shot in Dorchester. This happened inside a barber shop. The 19th Caroline Goggin is live for us at the scene with all the breaking details we know right now. Caroline. Well, Johnny, unfortunately, we can report for you tonight that that man who was shot earlier this evening has died. We are on Washington Street in Dorchester after that shooting inside a barber shop earlier tonight. I want to step out of the way to show you the scene right now. You can see it is still very active at this hour. Homicide detectives are here on the scene right now processing everything that took place around 7.15 tonight. I'll show you some video from that scene when we got here earlier this evening and lay out what exactly we know for you right now. That shooting call came in around 7.15, as I said. It was a shooting inside of a barber shop. That barber shop is called the Celebrity Cuts Barber Shop. This is on Washington Street in Dorchester. A man was found suffering from a gunshot wound, and Boston police told us in the last 20 minutes that that man did die here on the scene. She need them to tell me, say, Max, a good, good, good youth. You understand them, say, yo, the Max, so them know, a good youth, so them know, what go on, power go on. I don't really know either, so I'm not going to come make up no story and tell no lie. But I can tell you no this. Children's cramp has gone man kill community chef. Yeah, man, the man them kill the community chef right in a cassava piece. You see them, man, they come, come tell them about it, man. 53 year old Chef Barrington Foster. They man them kill it. And guess who me blame for the death? The community. Because the community know exactly what I go on. Because when they want to show things, they go on down there. And one holy pan, like a ticket to kid make. One holy pan ice. You understand? Like I'm saying, wake up. But yo, we are going to do this, and we are going to do this, and we are going to do that. See that the man them come back from the events, and we took the events. I may tell you no this. A parent of a 12 year old who was nearby caught in the crossfire said her son was traumatized. Him couldn't go to school after that, you know. He ball non stop. And even hours after the shooting, go on. Me see him still shaking. Boy, mommy, I tell you the truth. Make sure him sleep on the same side every single night. Can't remember them, my boy. Yeah? I kill everything these days. Anyway, people are coming up on the school argument. Remember, me tell you so the girls here, man, I can't go to Obia, man. I go make you hear that. But when me just, I just want a little matter. You understand? Because. This confusion thing we are going in a school a long time it's going. One thing in me, me all they start to choke, you know, so I go, I say something right now, and so all the people are going to them feelings, but guess what, me not care. You understand? Me talk as it is, and as it might be already. Religious education, them don't no for teach at a school. Devotion, no for keep at school either. But me is a really so I can only talk it out, me see it, you know. So when all of these religious background set of persons meet up together, what do you think going to happen? Hmm? When you really think of it, how can you be there preaching to a rasta man who don't believe in Jesus and have to come in devotion every morning? How can you preaching Jesus to somebody who say, yo, me believe in a hobby? How can you do that because something there? I just want to know because I have all of these answers, you know. But me always have to believe them look thing they forget cut out of school. You understand if you want to worship your God by yourself, the go on, go do it. Feels a way like something rolling me, you know? I just never feel so right like somebody was talking to me and all my hand cut too, you know? Yeah. How how your hand get cut? Me do it because I was possessed. <laughs> I never feel so well and I was talking to my parents some ways and they must say something wrong with me. So they rushed with me, go to a church. Do you remember what happened and what you were saying yesterday? Do you remember anything at all? I mean, I don't remember anything at all, but it, I, I think my mom said it was bad, so she had to rush with me. Yes, that was it. So that's the woman you just dropped down and started? Yeah, I never feel good for me in the morning. The morning part, I never feel good. And my mind said, don't go to school, so I never go. I never know nothing at all. What was going on is my mama was telling me that something is happening at the school. Like a lot of kids was dropping down, he had fainting. So I was wondering what is that? 
Like, and then they just start, like, me just feel so dizzy. And them keep school to the world, I don't go because it's very traumatizing. And I don't think I'm going till Monday to see what happened, you know? Yes, because it's very traumatizing. I am not scared, but I'm scared about my grandson. Yeah, I don't want him to go because he's not covered under no blood like that. So, you know, I don't want him dead because I can't afford to bury him. And I can't even feed him much more for to bury him. My son says he wants to go because he has an exam. But I still, up to the last moment, I never want to send him. But through him saying I have an exam, yeah, I still right. send him the same way. I want to mind all the churches across from the temple hall to border right around would gather at Oberlin and pray for God blessing intervention on us and our children. We love our children and we want to see the best for them. Now I believe the time has come for us to recognize that the effectual fervent prayer of the peoples of this land have begun to avail in many ways. So I want to trust God that the, the principals, the management of the school, etc., the Ministry of Education, the minister, will look into all of this and seek to ensure that more sustained, organized prayer takes place in the schools because indeed the children need it now more than ever. I could see that there was a mix of two things that were happening there. There is no question that the Lord visited with that school in a particular way. But in the midst of it, we could see that the enemy showed up in some of the students because the presence of the Lord visited because praying persons were there. But when we see those who fell out on the ground in a particular way, frotting and convulging and all of that and making weird sounds, we know for sure that's an intrusion of the enemy because the enemy seeks at all times to interfere with what God is doing. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers they counsel together against the Lord and against his anointing. Parents not praising God, parents are not being sorry, parents not surrendering their life to God, parents don't want to serve God, so the children then don't even know what they are com coming up against. They don't understand what is happening. Parents don't understand. Parents don't know nothing because they don't serve God. They don't want God. And when you refuse God, you refuse life. And that's why we are trouble. Religion, salvation, Jesus Christ. Don't know religion. That's why we are trouble. For religion, mix up. When you wash your wine in the water, you don't more. So the more you mix up in a religion, you don't eat more. For your God. Salvation. Yes, man. When you take out Christ, you must get devil.